Morning. Yeah, busy, busy all day really, but busy this morning. Um, got to get everything done for nine o'clock because that's when the Errol boys are coming with their big fancy tractors. So look out for them because uh, we're doing a lot of mucking out today. Right, I'll jump on the TM and we'll start feeding round. Good morning, Joe. Um. You all right? Notice I've got a croaky voice today. Yeah. Uh, I've got a bit of coughing yesterday. I feel a bit better. Got I've got diseased people. I've got diseased people. Right, we're all going to feed some cows, eh? Morning, Andy. Morning, guys. How's it going? Yeah, nice. You loving the rounds? Yeah, loving it. Just been putting a bit of fodder beat out. The pile's not very big now. Andy's just on. He's going to move that load of straw that's in the yard because um, we're going to need the space for getting tractors and trailers around and stuff. Um, yeah, the fodder beat. Wow, when we first got that, I thought we'd never use it all. It's gone. It's gone. It was an absolute massive mountain. If I knew how to um, go onto YouTube and grab a, a photo of it and put it on, I'd put it up next. But I don't know how to do that. So uh, you just have to look back in the videos and see how big it was. <laughs> so it's moving some cows around now. <clears throat> Try and keep them off this hair. Oi, 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 oi. Hey, because you will try and destroy everything, won't you? Come on. So I'll get him in their shed. You guys happy? You been playing with that piece of rope? Hello, fella. Hello. Nearly friendly. You're nearly there, aren't you? So we got the real big beast here today. 950. It used to have tire inflation at back, so I'll find out what's up with uh, what's up with that because that's missing. Looks like actually these are for wheel weights. The air inflation kit is all inside the rim of the tire. I'm guessing that's connected to it. It's a bit mucky, this, isn't it? I thought you'd have, I thought you'd have cleaned it off for us. <laughs> Where's Ralph? Where's Ralph when you need him? <laughs> yeah, probably is, isn't he? Probably polishing it. And then the inflation kit's on the front here. What a weapon. <coughs> We have a big trailer tractor. So I have got this shed to muck out today. I'm going to be busy. Ralph here on the big John Deere, so I'll just have a quick look at that before I fill the lorry up for my dad because he's off out in that today. Most of the day, fantastic. Come be Here he is, look, in the 250R. He's not even seen us. <laughs> what are you taking on track to run? This? Are you going to start getting cleaning then? <laughs> yeah, so Ralph's going on the track to run on Sunday. Andy's just filling this trailer up. And hopefully he's taking this one, he says. Ralph is going to be using one of those tractors on the track to run. He's going to be pulling a big trailer with a cow on the back. Um, not a real cow, something to do with young farmers, so that'll be interesting to see. Um, they're having a stall there, trying to get some more members, so maybe check that out. That's Pontefract Young Farmers. Um, but yeah, I'll get some footage of that on the day. So I've just got the lorry filled up with diesel now. M's doing a mix. Getting on with that job. Class is back. So this is the inside of the 950. So how many horsepower is this then? 410 pulling a six, 18 16 ton trailer 16 is it all right is it is it is it boss of the job i bet it's top gear everywhere jeez so it's got uh trimble rtk you've got your own base station yeah, yeah, yeah. haven't you um, oh yeah your six meter lemkin power hour combination does that have a box on the front, that? No, it's tanks on the back, so that's why it's such a big tractor. It's not horsepower for driving it, it's for carrying it, because it's you've got a ton of seed, plus power, plus drill on the back, it's heavy. It's 
Yeah, we've got a fridge in here. Yeah, yeah, well, it's not a fridge, it's just a pool box. Oh, nice. Box, um, Salt mod cons. 50k? Yeah, we want 52. Yeah, 52. Oh yeah, because you've got, got a new one, haven't you? Yeah, well that's, that's the Dolphin missile from the 6 demo so it's got all the toys on there. Nice! There she goes, out the yard. I'm not sure his door properly. <laughs> So they obviously have that issue with uh, classes as well as John Deere's then. Yeah. Door issues. Right, we're going to get these cows loaded. We've got the newer class coming in now. I think this is like 270 horsepower. It's got M's flags on the uh, outside. She says the red and red and white marker flags. It's an 870, this one. A chrome stack. Chrome exhaust, eh? Check that out getting towards halfway now still a fair bit to go in here though deep litter bedding so we're blowing straw on top of the every single day and it builds up and then at the bottom here it all starts to rot but as it rots it creates heat so it keeps the cattle nice and warm in the winter and to just get the fresh bedding on top but eventually it builds up, it builds up, it builds up. And you can see uh, these panels are one metre. This is one metre deep. And it gets too soft and a bit too uneven on top. So we need to take it out and start afresh. But when we start afresh, it's a bit of a pain because we have to put more straw in because that bottom layer is acting as drainage um, for the layers above. So um, we need to put more straw in so that there's a layer for drainage and a layer for the top layer to keep the cows nice and clean and happy. Main thing here, keeping the cattle happy because if you don't have happy cattle, they don't produce for you. Simple as that, you'll not make money. Um, whether you're a beef farmer, whether you're a dairy farmer, we're just beef, but um, yeah, they'll not put weight on for us if they're not happy. They'll not produce milk if they're not happy, if you're a dairy farmer, so yeah. That's why we do all the things that we do. Time Business. lapse this bit where, um, where I'm looking out to. So you can see what I'm actually doing. That was nearly a very expensive time lapse. I don't know if you can see all that. Um, the camera dropped into the cattle shed uh, at the other side. So I'm guessing the cows have been licking it at the, uh, at the tripod. <laughs> I thought, I thought I'd lost my phone wow. then. Whew. That's uh, near miss. Not being very successful at these time lapses today, are we? Um, trailers are coming in thick and fast. This is the new class again. Come back round. Oh, I'm just out with Richard, our agronomist, and we're looking at this spring barlet. You see the yellow, yellower coloured and we've got dark colours. This is manganese deficient, so we're going to put a foliar feed on here. And also we're getting quite a few thistles going in the bottom. So we're putting a herbicide on as well. As soon as the wind dies down and we get the spray here. Richard's brought his little toy that tells us how much nitrogen we need to put on our wheat. This here is the tester. This we put onto the leaf and when it's turned on it's not turned on a minute i'm just trying to show you what we do it takes a reading of the chlorophyll that's in the leaf and then when we input that into the app that richard's got on his phone um it'll give us a reading to tell us how much nitrogen we need to apply to this or all over the field here there and everywhere we've got 30 samples and we've now got a reading of 718 so we'll pop that into uh, Richard's phone in the app and then um, hopefully it'll tell us what we're doing. Yeah. Is the result zero? No, I never get things perfect, Richard. It never happens. Check the results. <laughs> Looking in this field and we had a, quite a grass problem on this headland and further up the field. So I just sprayed so far up and stopped. You can see like a line in the crop. I don't know if you can work it out, if I can get my finger there. 
that's where I stopped and then carried on. And you can see that there's the odd grass plant just past it. So we are actually controlling it in here, which is great. While we had Richard here, I got him to identify what the yellow weed was that we found yesterday. It's hedge mustard. There it is. So a lot of people thought it was ragwort, but no, hedge mustard. So I've just jumped in with Ralph Boy here. And as I said, sell to us Pontefract Young Farmers or any young farmers that's in the country. I say, with uh, Ponty Young Farmers all around Ponty District, um, members between 10 and 28. Um, we had a tractor run at Copley's on Sunday. Got Good two, way, two um, trailers with banners. Me and Joe, chairman, will be there. Um, come and say hello. Come and have a nap. We've got a party on the 9th of July. Um, everyone's welcome. Get in contact for details. Send me some tickets. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. But, um, no, so uh, Pontefract Young Farmers, it's every Thursday in Titley. Yeah, every yards. Thursday, half seven usually. Yeah. Uh, we do all sorts. Um, You've got a Facebook page? Facebook page, Instagram. Um, we do all sorts of tours, visits, um, pub quizzes, nights out, escape, all sorts. There Anything you, you can think of, we do it. There you go. And you do not have to be a farmer to go. Lots of people who aren't farmers go. It's a really good way to just meet people that are into similar things yeah. that you're into. Not tractors really, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, so yeah. check it out. Business. So when I was looking at this uh, lorry, I thought, oh, the lorry driver looks familiar. Zash! But he's not even lorry, he's, he's in his car. We're back on the big, big class. Now look at the width of it. Like the black bit of the mudguard is probably wider than the trailer. Crackers. I've been questioning Rob on what this piece is here. It's a sandwich box that you can take out with you. That's cool, man. You've got all this window cleaning kit in it. There's probably sandwiches in there. It's a decent size as well, you could get. On brand. On brand? Yeah, you could get. Big Mick could be happy with that, mate. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> fans, these are 900s and they are over six foot tall. Business. Morel has sent some grass back with his drivers today. Um, he's got some ryegrass in his fields and he's been pulling it and he sent it back to us. And the cows are eating it, Tom. So maybe if we release the cows into the wheat, maybe they'll just eat the grass, eh? Would that work out? I don't think it would. It's a bit of a private joke. These three have been keeping busy. Look at all this straw that they've shoveled out of there. What a job. Go on, boys and girls. Oh, the big tractor is here now. It has arrived. It has arrived. And because it's a class, and I know that M absolutely loves classes, I said, why don't we do an M's review on the massive tractor? Yeah? All right, guys, it's arrived. Just look at that. It's a class Axion 950. It's a weapon. It's even got some weird things on its wheels, right? Look at the size of the tires, right? This tire. It's fatter than me. Oh, I've got mud on my hands. But anyway, look at that weapon, right? 410 horsepower. Yeah? No stupid flags. But look at that. That is the absolute business. Dream team. It's even got a stupid number on it. And the nice driver, he's called Rob. Meet Rob, everybody. Business. Absolute business. I reckon we need a 410 horsepower tractor. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I was thinking that, were you? I won't. No, no, you caught me off guard, off guard then. Really off guard. I don't know what I'd need anything to do with 410 horsepower. We could like... This could be cool, so I could like... Send it big with bad Barry driving down the road. It's huge. Huge, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Alright, turning grass on that. <laughs> it grass would be turned in no time. Yeah. Ah, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'd like, like to review anyway. I do some proper work. I need to tell for you all one, once, one thing. For once. I need to tell you all one thing. I finished all the check my TikTok out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <At laughs> Apprentice.m. On He's TikTok. got some legendary content with a legendary man. And M is so close, so, so close to getting 10,000 followers, right? Yeah. And when she gets 10,000 followers, then that just means that it's me, doesn't it? It's yeah. like a nice number to get to. Yeah. So. Let's see if you can be the 10,000 follower. Business. Business. 
the last word on the new class going out today we've still got Ralphie boys John Deere his little little 6250 isn't it Andy it's just a tiny little baby tractor it's throwing time that's what Andy's on with now big thanks to Tom Morell and all his men so that's Will Rob and Ralphie boy uh, for all the help today really um, really really appreciate that because just makes mucking out so easy when them guys come in with three tractors and trailers. Absolute business. So today's been a very busy. We've got all the tractors back in the shed now. Just shutting all the gates up. Getting my bucket out of the way. Then we'll probably take up that. That's about it from us today, uh, which is a good job because I'm pretty much losing my voice. You notice that? Um, it's going, isn't it? It's going. Um, so if, if people have liked it, please press that like button and subscribe if you've not already. And um, Andy's off to Devon, so we haven't got him for the next two days, I think. Yeah. That's right. We've got me though. We've got M though, haven't we? We've got M. Are you coming on Sunday? Yeah, I think so. Probably not then. <laughs> but we are I'm going. Joining you at some time. <clears throat> you are joining us at some time on Sunday. Ash will be here because uh, you ain't got no better to do, have you? <laughs> Mick, Mick has got better things to do He's in Skeg Vegas right now Not heard anything from him but he'll be there um, So yeah Thanks for joining guys We'll see you later See you tomorrow Fish, oh. fresh, fresh. Go on Andy you've got to do your thing right. Oh, Is that a Devon thing? Go on Ash Wave Wave Ash <laughs> Wave <laughs> Ash Next <laughs> employee What have you come for claim? <laughs> Jack, aka Stud Muffin of Billingley. Something like that. <laughs> um, just think when you trade that in for the uh, for the van. Trade this in for my actual. Buy the one, Muffin. Oh, um, we haven't told anybody what your registration is. Right, right, right. It's got M, ten, cow. Business. That's my registration. That's what it's all about. I need it on back of my bike as well, don't I? <coughs> yeah, you should do actually. Get a little thing for under your seat. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? A big one up front. Yeah. Tell you what, if you do a wheelie, I'll get you on. <laughs> if, if you do a wheel, if you pop a wheelie for us, I'll get you on. No. <laughs> I don't know. Bye. Goodbye.